Hello, hello, hola. Ciao and bonjour. This is the one where we take on the league. Who's the what's it? Anyway. <clears throat> uh, it's been a little bit since I recorded, so I need to team check as much as anyone right now. Oops. Thank you, Sailor. Very cool. Alright. There's Sailor the Graveler, relatively new member of the team, but uh, quickly getting stronger. We have Pitcher the Venomoth, pitching in with poison and paralysis as needed. May the Corsola, our like hundredth string rock type or water type, excuse me, but still getting the job done. Sam the Celebi, kind of running away with the team's experience right now. Definitely the MVP at this point. Shucky the Quilava, rapidly leveling up. And Tech the Pincer, who I don't think has done anything so far. We got a few other things to do before we go to the Pokemon League. Uh, we're gonna swing by New Bark Town, of course, and get the Master Ball. Had to do that anyway. Uh, I think we'll go get our two Whirl Islands encounters the regular one and the Lugia shaped one. Um, I'll get the experience share from Mr. Pokemon along the way, because if Sam, if I'm going to keep leaning in Sam, excuse me, if I'm going to keep leaning on Sam in most of my battles, I still want to spread the wealth around, not just have him gobble up all of it. And we might have to catch a Blastoise, because I don't think I have anything that can learn Waterfall right now, um, but I know where to find Wild Blastoise, so we might have to do another Ursaring play, unless we happen to get something in the Whirl Islands. That can can learn waterfall, and that does seem like a good place for it. No. Anyway, that's the agenda. Um, Master Ball, experience share, Whirl Islands, maybe catch a Blastoise, and then over to Kanto. Do I even need to heal? Well, we're doing it. <laughs> um, we're gonna have to go through the route south of Blackthorn City. If I had any owls left, I probably would just uh, fly to New Bark Town, but I don't, and that's okay. It's not like having to catch an Earth Ring or maybe a Blastoise to progress in the game. Fly is a luxury. We'll be fine. But what I will probably do is try to skip the trainers down here because it's not an easy area to backtrack, and so if the team gets low, we could be in trouble. And just as I say that, I immediately get into an unavoidable trainer situation. Well, that's the kind of playthrough it is, I guess. Let's see what he's got. Nurse Marshall sent out. One of the scariest Pokemon in the game, as we well know, but I think Sailor can handle it. And... If I edited these videos, I could just pretend that I didn't wander into this trainer immediately, and you'd never know. But look at how radically honest this playthrough is. Anyway, we chucked rocks at the Pineco in a couple of different ways and dealt with that. Let's see what's next. Oh, he's got three Pokémon. I thought he only had two. A Croconaw. That's cool. Not gonna leave Sailor in on that. I guess we'll go Sam. I guess Sam is our answer to this kind of thing. Somehow I knew it was going to do that, but yeah, that doesn't do much. Not that strong. Not stab. Weak special attack stat. And Celebi is just too bulky, and of course at too high a level for something like this. This is why I want that experience share. I want Sailor still collecting experience from situations like this. I should have poured myself a glass of water before I started recording, but can't think this through every time. Just get rid of this Kadabra and be on our way. Already got our encounter for this area, I think, and I don't care to check. We already had a Hitmonchan before. Remember? 
Anthony. I actually, at this point, I have looked back at old episodes and found Pokemon in the footage that I didn't remember. Like, did you know I had a Kakuna in this playthrough named Lance at one point? I didn't even remember that. I'm probably going to go back and review the deaths um, at the end of this. Maybe I'll try to make a death uh, montage or something. I don't know. But I have no idea how many deaths there have been. I know there have been a lot. But there have probably been way more than I even remember at this point. But we're still going, and that's what's important, right? Okay, I think we can avoid this guy. Yep. Blunder right into a wild Pokemon. It's a Hopip. Is that what we caught on this route? I think so. I know I have a Hopip. I think this is where I got it. Go this way. And blunder right into another unavoidable trainer in doing so. There's a lot of this game that I know like the back of my hand. This route is not such a place. I tend to just go through once in a playthrough and whatever path I take, that's that. Anyway. Dudley's leading off with a Ninetales. I think Sailor can handle that. I might actually get myself some water soon. We'll see how I feel. <clears throat> I'm right next to my kitchen. It wouldn't take long. Wouldn't even have to pause the recording. We're not going to worry about water right now as our mighty Graveler takes down this Ninetales. Water is the last thing we should have on our mind, right? Oh, I can boot him in this recording, wow. Anyway. Good experience. Do I care about learning Harden? I suspect not. It's probably just better to keep Defense Curl, although it's not like I'm going to use Rollout even if Graveler learns it. I don't care. I'm keeping Defense Curl. Don't know the PP or anything. They probably just both have a lot of PP. There's some water. Don't like. Guess we'll switch to Sam. Not gonna switch in Shucky or even May on this. Even May's not great into other water types. Okay. Tank the second rollout hit, and we're good. I guess these trainers are not strong enough to worry about, it's just, you know, like I said, can't readily go back and heal in this area, and we don't have anything that can use fly. Anyway. Let's go this way. I think there are two very weak trainers over here, so I actually will fight them. Yeah, I think these two have super low levels. So why not? We're almost champion. We'll probably get there this episode, you know, unless it goes really badly. Fingers crossed. Um, might as well beat up some kids along the way. Show them how far they have to go. Easy. And actually not bad experience for Sailor. See, this was worthwhile. We're not just doing it to be mean. Don't care at all about the dire hit, but probably get some decent experience from this trainer too, right? What do you have? Mewtwo? She's going to now that I've said it. Maybe not. I could switch to Sam on this and knock it out with a super effective Psychic. Just kidding, we'll, we'll go Shucky. Don't remember exactly what level Quilava evolves, but Shucky must be pretty close. So that's good. I'm close to leveling up right now. Look at her go. This is a second Pokemon I didn't- Oh, hello! See, that's what I'm talking about. And it's a water type, so we'll go Sam. That's how it goes. No wonder Sam is just dominating the team experience right now. As the go-to switch in against the most common type in the game. 
But I have what I have, and that's two rock types and a fire type. And then a Venomoth that I only train a little bit, and a Pinsir that's just kind of here. So, it's Sam against the world. Where the world is water types. It's Sam against like half the world. Look at that, Shucky leveled up. <clears throat> Beat Gentleman Max. And we're off to... Well, let's see what we find here. I don't... What was our encounter on this route? It was Execute, right? That's a long time ago now. Man, that Execute. I was talking about the long-term future for a Pokemon I'd lose in, like, Episode 2. Anyway... Oh, don't like you guys. Not in this run, anyway. You're a fine Pokemon design, but, uh... Your reputation is really tanked in this playthrough. Uh, remember that shiny Pokemon that we... were guaranteed to encounter, but as it turned out, not guaranteed to catch? Anyway. Uh, I'm actually gonna go home first. Because I'm curious about these dolls that my mom apparently bought with my money. I'll see if she got anything good. Decorate the room. A Clefairy doll and a Charmander doll. Alright. Sure. Look at that! Our room's got a little more life to it now. Anyway. It is, it, it's very silly that your mom just <laughs> takes your money like that and buys stuff you didn't ask for, but it is kind of neat that you get that little bit of customization in your room. Anyway, Master Ball. Um, roaming legendaries are probably a no-go in this playthrough, so I think most likely I want to use the Master Ball on the Ho-Oh encounter, but we'll see what happens with the Lugia encounter, because of course that's coming up sooner. In fact... We'll start heading that way right now. I'm not entirely opposed to using it on that encounter and figuring out the ho -Oh one later, but we'll see. <laughs> Next destination, Mr. Pokemon's house. Wild Azumarill. What was our first encounter, was it? Rhyhorn, right? Spines? who actually held out pretty long for such an early encounter. Spine's put in a ton of work for this team. Oh man, it's a little bit of a nostalgia trip coming back through here, but... Anyway, let's keep moving. I should also... I don't think I can get repels here. I'll try Violet City. I should also, uh, yeah, get more repels if I'm going to the Whirl Islands. And... One thing I haven't checked... Is this where I got Rhyhorn? Did I fail my first encounter? I don't remember. One thing uh, I haven't checked is what Pokémon I have that can learn Flash. Which is gonna matter in the World Islands. Gotta remember that. Probably would like to give Flash to a Pokémon that's not on my go-to team that I'm using all the time. But, we'll see. Anyway. There's the experience share. <clears throat> Gen 2 experience share, so it's a held item. That benefits one Pokémon. And I actually will put it on Sailor for now. Um, Sailor could use a little bit of catching up. I don't know that it... Pitcher or Tech is necessarily a Pokemon I want to prioritize right now. You know, some members of the team are just more important than others. It is what it is. And... Let's go to Olivine City and look for Repels along the way. Don't remember where I can buy those. I actually think I was not able to buy them in Violet City, was I? Wow, imagine if that had been my encounter for this route. That's a whole different playthrough right there. It's a legendary. Can I get a lot of experience even though it's at level 3? Let's see. Nah. 
Oh, it is pretty silly how the experience share splits it up like that, even on the same Pokemon in this game. But what can you do? This gonna be another ho -Oh. Aww, remember Riddles, the Magby that we had for a while? That got blown up by a deli bird. What a trip down memory lane this is. Oh, sorry. That's my bad. A lot of Seeking around here. Haven't had a Seeking in this playthrough, but apparently they're everywhere. Okay. Um, I'm gonna trust my memory that I can't buy repels in Violet City, and I guess we'll try a critique. So... Let's go through here, where we caught that weird tree that was more of a weird sheep once we sprayed water on it. Um, yeah, we'll try the mart here. No repels. Sure hope I can buy them in all vine. If not, I guess we'll deal. Cause I don't want to go all over the map without fly looking for repels. What did I catch here? Anthony? The Hitmonchan? Probably. That guy had such potential. I know you don't have a fighting attack, I remember. We got away anyway. We've got mock bike level control out here, which is my bad. But what can you do? All of Vine City, caught a Chinjao here. Couldn't keep it very long. Check the mark first. No repels. Wait, there's super repels? Sorry. Super repels. Oh, I can't buy very many. I'll get ten. Wait, what happened? <sighs> Space in the bag? Alright, let's see what we can sell. Um, oh, I have max repels! Wow, I'm really not firing on all cylinders tonight. I have max repels. We're not going to worry about it, but we're still going to see what we can sell here, because... You know... Inventory space might be useful later. I should probably go deposit some items in the PC. What I should do... Alright! Alright, we're back on track. We'll deposit some items. We'll see about teaching Flash to something. And then we'll head to the World Islands. Okay. Not using this. At least not right now. Or this. Or this. Or this. Or this. Or this. We got a max, or... We got a Miracle Seed, a Never Melt Ice, and a Dragon Fang in the PC. We'll be good to remember if I get any attacks of those types, but for now, that's it. Haven't had a Dragon type of this run, I'm pretty sure. I had Jinx for a little bit. And actually not many Grass types and fewer, if any, Grass attacks. Okay. Who can learn Flash? Hopip can probably learn Flash. I'm going to see if Pichu can learn Flash, because I don't think I'm ever going to train this Pichu unless everything else is dead. I've trained Pichu before, but this one doesn't even know Thundershock. I'm not that confident that Pichu can learn Flash in Gen 2 for some reason. It just seems like the kind of thing they would have not done. But we'll see. Pichu can learn Flash. How about that? Also, what other moves am I going to- even if I train this Pichu, it's not like it has a very varied move pool in this game. I'll... Uh, I kind of like Sweet... Uh, I'll get rid of Sweet Kiss. No reason Sweet Kiss. Okay! Off to the World Islands. I did not look at the puzzle before I started recording. I think I remember it... moderately well. I might. You know what I do want? I want an escape rope. Do I have an escape rope? 
What did I just do? I don't think I have an escape rope. Oh, I definitely want that. Uh, I hope they have them at the mart here. Um, I think there's a decent chance that I'll do the puzzle from memory first try. I really do. But I'll, there's also a decent chance that I won't. How do you not have an escape rope at the Olivine City Pokemart? People are going to the islands. Okay, I'm not even going to make you sit through this one. I'm going to pause the recording while I source an escape rope somewhere. See ya. Okay, well, I blinked and somehow five escape ropes appeared in my bag. What happened there? We may never know. Anyway, now we're ready to go to the World Islands. Um, now that our supplies have magically come into being. So. I'm going to swap Pitcher to the front because it's probably my best mod for catching stuff. Throw down a rappel to get to the island. Uh, I'm sure anyone watching this will yell at me if I'm wrong about which island to start at, but I'm pretty sure I remember which island to start at. We'll see. Did take a bunch of unnecessary steps there either way. But that's okay, we're swimming in rappels, right? We have so many. It'd be pretty silly if I worried about running out or something. Anyway, I sure hope this is the right island. I'll find out. Okay, perfect. Repel wears off there. We'll keep it off for now because we don't have our World Islands encounter. Look at that bright light. Yeah, this looks right. This way. Down here. Down here? Oh yeah. Still haven't gotten an encounter. And this is Gen 2, so we can just go down the waterfall without having the HM, and we can get a wild encounter on the way down. It's an Arbok! It's our third Arbok, if we count the unevolved Ekans in the PC, but a catch is a catch. So why not? Got a sea serpent here hanging out in a waterfall to ambush me. Uh, there's no way it takes a confusion. Leech Life is probably gonna do. Probably gonna have the opposite problem, not doing any damage, but we'll make do. Let's get it down to yellow, I think. Of course, I'd poison it if I could, but. you know. Actually, that damage is actually kind of racking up between the bite and the wrap. Not that it makes me any more motivated to train this Pokemon. But it is a tiny bit annoying right now. That's more like it. No damage that turn. A little bit more chip healing, and I think we can throw a ball at this point. About to fight a level 40 something. And it's a randomizer. It could be anything. And I didn't realize how few balls I brought. I did not realize how few balls I brought. That's really bad, actually, because I am... I was going to say not going back to Blackthorn City to buy more Ultra Balls. But... Maybe I'll pause the recording again. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, we're going to name this Scary, because I'm scared by how few Ultra Balls I have as well as the fact that this thing was literally hiding in a waterfall to ambush us. Look at that! I'm not even- I wasn't even touching the controls there, we were just uncontrollably going down the waterfall. That Arbok was able to pull us into a battle along the way. Almost went up that ladder. That's not the right way, this is the right way. Maybe we use the Master Ball here, it's not the worst thing. Depending on what this is... It's an interesting looking creature, huh? Let's get a closer look. 
I feel like I know that cry. It's a Lapras! Oh my god, it's a Lapras! That can probably learn Waterfall. But also... That's such a good Pokémon! At level 40? I... I'm tempted to just Master Ball. I'm tempted to just Master Ball this. I'm tempted to just Master Ball this. I'll try the Poison Powder again. Pitcher, you're killing me here. I'll try it again. I kind of want to save the Master Ball for the Ho-Oh encounter. Pitcher, I need you to take this. Yeah, well, I gambled and I lost. I'm sorry, Pitcher. I really let you down there. We're just gonna use the Master Ball. I want this Lapras. We're just gonna do it. We'll cross the Ho-Oh encounter bridge when we come to it. Look at that Master Ball animation. I don't know why it's green in this game, although I like that. I'm not complaining about it being green. But I love that little extra animation as the Pokémon is pulled in. I wanted to save the Master Ball. I don't know, whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out. It ferries people across the sea on its back. It may sing an enchanting cry if it is in a good mood. What am I going to name this level 40 World Islands Lapras? By the way, actually pretty reasonable static encounter here. Like, it fits the environment and it's a super rare Pokémon. I caught on my Master Ball. I'm gonna name it Silver. No, I'm not. That's my player character's name. Uh, uh, I'm gonna name it... I'm gonna name it Silver. It's fine. This is our version mascot here. We threw the Master Ball at this. Hopefully that's gonna be Clutch against... You know, that whole Pokemon League that I guess is next on the agenda at this point. I'm gonna go up that ladder and see what we find, but I think it's otherwise escape rope time. But yeah, I'm curious. I don't know the World Islands that well, despite, you know, the flawless navigation there. That's like the one thing I know how to do in this area. Is this just gonna take us outside? No, there's no way. No. Oh, free escape rope. I... Maybe took a detour to Violet City that you didn't see for nothing. Also, I just found my way out. Okay, well... Wasted a little bit of my own time there, but... That's the kind of playthrough it is in some ways. Where am I? Am I back at the top right? Island? Okay, so we basically traded Venomoth for Lapras. I am sad about losing Venomoth, especially since I ended up using the Master Ball anyway. It amounts to kind of a waste, but it's a favorable trade, no? Guess I'm suppo not supposed to think in those terms in a Nuzlocke. I'm supposed to be emotionally attached to my team. And I am, to an extent. But there have been so many deaths in this run. Kinda have to give in to cold, ruthless, practical thinking at some point. Okay, this is definitely a different island, and I tried everywhere I could before I found the right path out. That's the kind of playthrough this is. That's why you're here, right? If anyone is here. But now, we'll go back to Olivine, regroup, and head off to Kanto. Um... I should go to Blackthorn City on the way. I should buy Ultra Balls. I don't know how many encounters I get between New Bark Town and the Pokemon League, but like at least three, right? And I don't even have three three balls right now. Tojo Falls, Victory Road, at least one route. All right, I'll I'll make the responsible choice and go to Blackthorn City. It's fine. Pitcher, I feel like I've said your goodbye speech in bits and pieces already. You were pretty cool. Well, that's it. Silver. 
Welcome aboard. Oh, and I can get out that never melt ice. Make that ice beam even stronger. How about that? Okay. So. Silver is already my highest level Pokemon by a good margin. Has Body Slam, Confuse Ray, Perish Song, and Ice Beam. We'll give you the Never Melt Ice. We'll teach you Surf. We'll teach you Waterfall if you can learn it. Actually. No. So what I was thinking was, do I need two water attacks? Maybe just Waterfall. But Waterfall is weaker than Surf, and I want this thing to do a lot of damage. So I think it's worth it to have Surf and Waterfall, even though it's a little inefficient. I'll probably keep... That's, that assumes that it can learn Waterfall, which I haven't checked yet. Probably keep Parish Song. Parish Song could be situationally good. Get rid of Confuse Ray first. And Moment of Truth. Can you learn Waterfall or do I have to catch a Blastoise? Blastoise it is. Oh, I'm still carrying this Pichu. Alright, well that's fine. I don't really... You know, I was carrying a sixth Pokemon, Tech, but I wasn't really serious about training Tech. So we can just carry Blastoise for its HM for now, after catching one. Probably don't want a Graveler in the lead spot for that. Guess we'll try Sam. No. We'll try May. Because the Blastoise will be at a pretty low level, it won't do that much damage to me. And we can chip it with Whirlpool. And recover if we have to. That's the plan. Blastoise. Blackthorn City's stock up on Ultra Balls. Kanto. A little scuffed, but overall going okay. This is where all the Blastoise are. Should find one quickly. There it is. They're also Ho-Oh in this grass, of course. But that's not useful right now. Try to chip it. That's not a bad animation. It is a bad move. But the animation's kinda nice. Blastoise was trapped! Oh no. Look at that. They really nailed some of these water attacks in this game. I'm gonna go straight for an Ultra Ball and pray. I only have two. I know. But hey, buffed catch rates, right? Got him. Okay. And we only caught this to teach it Waterfall. It's not actually part of the Nuzlocke. did check ahead of time that Blastoise can learn Waterfall, yet I'm kind of nervous about it anyway. Waterfall is weirdly limited in its distribution in Gen 2. Which I think they fixed. At least somewhat in later Gens. Okay. I should probably make this Blastoise faint before I go take on trainers and stuff. So that I have no option to sack it in the battle or something. I'll figure that out. But for now... Blackthorn City. A little bit of an annoying detour, but if you don't like annoying detours... I really don't know what to tell you at this point. Nine episodes in. mock bike level steering. Good news is we can just run through here now. See if I nail the ice puzzle like I did the first time. I'm just consistently overshooting by one. What is it with me tonight? What did I do last time? Well, certainly not that. Oh well. Not every try can be first try.
But this one can. Look at that. First try. Okay. Don't have to redo this nonsense. So that's nice. Imagine if someone hauled all those boulders back up when I wasn't looking. What a waste of their and my time that would be. Okay, that was the ice path. We're already back in Blackthorn City. buy 20 Ultra Balls, because I'm annoyed about having almost run out there. That should be plenty to get to the Indigo Plateau. And now it's finally time to head that way. Imagine that. It took us, what, about 20 minutes in the first part of the recording, so 35 overall, I think. But we're on our way. course. Well, you knew it was coming, right? Actually, this might be a good chance to get the Blastoise knocked out, depending on what the swimmer has. This looks like it can knock out my Blastoise. Let's go. Nice and quick, please. Perfect. And I think you know what we're going to do here. I mean, there's only so many... There are only so many times I can comment on it. But look at that confusion one-shot. Him only is not that squishy a Pokemon. But Sam is just too strong. Warg! Okay. wonder what that is. Am I going to have to fight another trainer if I get it? Won't be worth it. I, I'm sure there's a trainer down here, but I don't know which side. Cute. Hop it. Um, I will switch Sailor back to the front, I think. There is no, there isn't a trainer. I guessed wrong. We can sell that revive because it's useless to us. I hadn't fought that guy before. I'd gone the other way. Oh man! I talked a big game about skipping these trainers, and I ended up fighting like six of them. This guy has five Pokemon. Oh, but they're. They're at that. They're, they're at that level, so we'll probably be okay here. Quick little magnitude. Got that annoying doubled up experience, but worth it, I think. Wobbuffet. For a second, I was like, I can't switch because of Shadow Tag, even though it's, you know, Gen three. Um, probably doesn't take a magnitude, and what else have I got anyway? Can't poison it, because I didn't bring anything with- uh, Oh! I don't actually know how magnitude works. How much does this power vary? We're just gonna nuke this thing with silver. I'm not taking any more chances. There's no way it takes an Ice Beam, right? It's probably the strongest attack. With the Never Melt Ice, it's probably the strongest attack my team has. Alright, bring on more victims for Silver to sweep. That's a good start. Probably could just Body Slam and save PP, but... I'm annoyed at this guy now. And if Igglybuff is the best he's got left, then you can only imagine what's in the back. A 
Paris. That's Ice Beam food. I could Perish Song on the last Pokemon and just switch around, but that's a waste of time, right? It'd be a little bit funny, but not that funny. Ooh, a Kangaskhan. Remember when my Kangaskhan died? Funnily enough, it was the fixed Lapras encounter. And now I have a Lapras, which is better than Kangaskhan, I think. Okay! That wasn't a great use of my time, but that's what happens when you just blunder around like, well, me. They're seeking. I'm starting to become amazed that I didn't catch a Sea King. But I was playing this area in the day, right? It could be a night encounter for all I know. Sea King seems like a Pokemon that might only want to come out at night. Okay, and now after all that talk, it is finally time to surf eastward from New Bark Town. I don't know at what point we're in another area. I'm gonna not count anything as an encounter until the guy who says we we're in Kanto. So understand, that means if it turns out I'm allowed to surf here, I still will go back and do that. I'm not counting this as my encounter. And I said that before I saw what it was, so... That's fair game, I think. Hey, do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. It's about time, huh? Map. Okay, so we're on Route 27. Around the turn there, it takes us to Route 26. Route 23 probably has nothing on it. Victory Road. Okay, so two routes, Victory Road, Tojo Falls, four encounters. I'm not, as I said, not counting that Larvitar as my encounter for this route. I will... Yeah, leave that encounter up in the air for now. Let's get our Tojo Falls one. Could be anything. Can't remember what this item is. A Moonstone. I already have one, and I don't know whether it'll ever be useful, but I suppose I can't complain. Anyway. Anything waiting to ambush us? Oh, this waterfall? Any snakes? Oh, right, not in the waterfall, but right at the top, our Tojo Falls encounter is Weepin' Bell. That's a funny Pokemon. Probably never be able to evolve it. You know how it goes. What do I have to catch stuff like this now? I guess I'll switch to Shucky and, like, see if it takes a quick attack? I don't know. I'm starting to miss that- really miss that Venomoth already. Do not paralyze my Shucky. Do not. Well, it took that pretty nicely. I think it takes another quick attack, and it's a Weeping Bell. I'm willing to risk it. Let's see. Perfect. Dodge another Stun Spore. Look at Shucky go. This should be an easy Ultra Ball. Okay, this thing was ambushing us at the top of the waterfall, and it's kind of... Well, I mean, it kind of is an ambush predator. I mean, I guess it's, like, a passive predator. Look at me talking about what to nickname it when it's not even staying in the ball. That's what I was doing, by the way. Uh, I've already had a Pokemon named Rotoderp, which was just predator backwards because it was an Arbok, if anyone didn't get that. Um, so I'm not eager to name this predator. If its prey is bigger than its mouth, it slices up the victim with sharp leaves, then eats every morsel. Nice razor leaf there. Uh, I'll name it Hunter. Because that was definitely hunting us. Why did I name that Arbok I just caught? Scary? So we got Scary and Hunter this episode? Well, the ecosystem is what it is. Alright, we cleared Tocho Falls, the whole reason we're carrying a Blastoise around. Uh, when that Repel wears off, we can get our encounter for this route. This trainer has like a bunch of Ivysaur and Venusaur and maybe a Bulbasaur. And here she has a Delibird, which is 
as we've established, scarier. But I don't think Sailor is taking much from a present, right? What way to find out? Please heal. Doesn't heal. That does not insignificant damage. It was a crit, though. And you, there's no way you take a rock throw. Yeah, that's what Delibird deserves in this playthrough. Another Pokemon that I actually like quite a bit. But not in this run, I don't. What else you got? Another Weepin' Bell. I think we can feed that to Shucky. This is Weepin' Bell night in this game, huh? Alright, Shucky, I would appreciate you one-shotting this, so we don't have to worry about dodging powders, although you've been very good at that so far tonight. Perfect, good job. One more Pokemon. And it's... Macargo. Nice. We'll feed that to May. I could go Sailor, but Sailor's getting a little low on HP already. I don't think that Amnesia is protecting you. I'm pretty sure. Maybe you take one now. We'll see. It does take one. But that's all you got back throw back at me. Not that impressive. I think we can finish it off with Whirlpool. Perfect. Maybe I'll take the experience share off when Sailor gets to level 30, or at least I'll reconsider what I'm doing with it. I don't know. It's still kind of nice on one of my lower level core Pokemon, regardless. Um, okay. We'll fight this guy. We should try to get that encounter in this grass, I think. There's not a lot of other space to do it, I think. Anyway. How many Ghost Riders named Chloe have we fought already tonight? I haven't kept track. I uh, don't have a fighting attack, don't have a bug attack. I feel like I can see what Sailor can do to this. I should... Does Umbreon get Pursuit in this game? And if so, at what level? Not sure. Now, what would I switch in here? There's not really a great candidate. I think I just go silver and just try to beat this with raw power. It has pursuit! Okay, well, bye Sailor. You definitely won't be carrying the experience share now. Guess what you don't have in this game, Umbreon? Synchronize. Yeah, crit para. That's what you get. Oh, man. Umbreon. Karen's Umbreon is always a pain. Hopefully she won't have one this time, but... Pursuit, Sand Attack, Confuse Ray. What a nightmare. Last move, Quick Attack, I'm less bothered about. But still... Good job, Silver. You can do this. Perfect. Imperfect. Never mind, I spoke too soon. Not perfect. Try again. You can do this. Perfect. Okay. An Alakazam. Why not? Well, Sam at least matches up well into this. And hey, can't say that uh, I'm not getting Victory Road caliber opponents here, huh? Looking pretty strong so far. Just gonna spam Future Sight. Just fine with me. Who's next? Do duo. We can ancient power that. Okay, the future sight animation is really something. I don't actually know whether it obeys type matchups in this game. There was no text saying that it's not very effective, but it didn't do all that much damage. But Sam is very strong. So add all that up, and I don't know. 
gonna go ahead and collect the experience share so I don't forget to take it before I release this dead graveler. And I actually did not mean to fight that guy yet. I was going about to say let's kill the repel and then get our encounter, but it's fine. We'll fight this guy. Let's see. A manky. That's all right. I don't know who's in the lead spot. Oh, it's Sam. Very nice. This might even one shot. Yep. Okay. That's Ghost Rider Noel. I think I'll give the experience here to Shucky. Try to get Shucky evolved. That makes sense, right? And let's go ahead and get our encounter in this grass. We're wasting a lot of this max repel, but I don't care right now. Who's in the lead spot now? I think it should be May. Enjoy that bike music for a bit while we just... Oh. What do we got here? A Meryl. A level 32 Meryl. Okay. We'll make at least a token effort at catching it. have a fire water grass core in this party right now and also just something very strong caught Meryl the end of its tail serves as a buoy that keeps it from drowning even in a vicious current I'm gonna name this calm because that's what we're gonna be as we get into the end game Calm. Well, end game for Johto, anyway. Okay. More trainers to fight. Don't say anything. Are you psychic? What are psychics? They turned into something funny, right? Are they servants? Yep, servant Thomas. Leading with a horsey. Go Sam, because that's what we do into water types. Okay, not one of my very favorite animations, but it is kind of cool how the twister travels across the screen. Gen 2, man. A lot of hits. I love the Gen... Maybe it's because this is my first game. I'm biased, obviously, but I love the Gen 2 aesthetic overall. I love Gen 2 style sprites locations. It's just it's just a solid look. You know, Shucky against this. We really are just playing the... That's not going to do much. Exactly. We really are just playing the fire, water, grass game. Even as our opponents apparently all spam pursuit now. Anyway, cool to run into a scissor. Don't see that too often in the base game, but get rid of that pretty quickly and see what else this guy's got. Chucky gets a lot of experience. Love to see that. And we go back to our water type guy. Switch. Water. Go grass. Bug. Go fire. You know the drill. This is what our team is right now. If I don't like it, I shouldn't let so many Pokemon die. And hey, I'm glad that we have something solid to lean on this far into the game. There was a part of me that wasn't sure we'd even make it here. Anyway, I'll clean up this Omanyte. I used to have an Omanyte. Maybe Gamer. I don't know why. That just was the first word I thought of. That was a long time ago, too. Another death. And we'll move on. 
Shocky grew to level 34. I guess Shocky will fully evolve at 36. Wow, how did she see me from all the way down there? This trainer is... I remember this trainer being tough in the base game. She's got like a star me or two star me or some nonsense. She could have anything here, and we're starting off with Venomoth. As always, rubbing the recent deaths in. I don't think... Well, I do think it takes a Surf. I, I don't think it does much back. But we'll see. Good. That might two hit KO. Well, probably not after this. But this isn't doing any damage. Exactly. We just get to watch the surf animation again, and maybe the whirlpool one. Let's go. Probably should have stuck with the poison powder. That would have been a lot more annoying. That leech life is not doing much. And here's a fortress. Love running into a fortress. This is my self-destruct resist at this point. So let's go. I'm bracing myself. Not like I can switch anyone in safely. I can if it does that. Now we're talking. Go Shucky and finish it off. Easy. Bide is- I feel like Bide is a move that I never ran into when I was playing Silver version. Like, even though I played Silver before Red, Brock's TM was probably the first I ever heard of that move. There's a part of me that's vaguely surprised to know that anything even naturally learns it. I guess I just wasn't training Fortress as a young kid, huh? And a Gyarados! So... Honestly, there's a case for going to Silver, but... There's also a case for... This thing's weak to rock, and I have a Pokemon with a rock attack, and it's not my rock type, it's this Celebi right here. We can get a bit of healing on the uh, surprisingly weak Thrash Chip, too, I say as it crits. Alright, I keep forgetting that Sam knows Heal Bell, by the way. I'm all worried about getting status Like, oh no, I'll have to run back and heal or something. I forgot that Sam can just fix that. I need to remember that. Don't let me keep forgetting. I'm not going to use my last Ancient Power on this right now. I'm going to save that in my back pocket. For the time being. Yeah, exactly. Confusion handles it fine. Oh my god, look at Shucky go. That's what we want. We want Shucky to evolve. And then probably we want to help May get caught up, I guess. May's kind of falling behind at this point. Mom stole my money. She bought an item, so we can check that in the PC later. That's cool. Um, okay, I think after this guy we'll be on a new route, probably. Get another encounter. Maybe it'll be something good. Maybe it'll be something that motivates me to add it to the team before I continue the rest of the way through here. I think May can handle a Farfetch'd. There's no Leaf Blade in this game. Love that far-fetched sprite. I feel like I commented on that before. Okay, yeah, be like that. Seems like everybody's being like that out here. This is what the poke. This is functionally Victory Road. There are no trainers in the actual Victory Road except the rival at the end. So this is what Pokemon League contenders are doing in this game. They're spamming Pursuit, Sand Attack, all kinds of powders, Confuse Ray. That's what we're up against out here in, uh... Well, I guess Kanto now. But... On the way from Johto. I thought about staying in, but... Too needlessly risky. Can't really afford more deaths right now. I say that, watch the next Pokemon be like a Houndoom with Pursuit. Somehow holding choice specs in Gen 2. 
Nope. We can handle a Klappa. We need Sweet Kiss or Sing? Sweet Kiss, of course. Sam, please. You know what I just remembered? Metronome has been devastating at some points in this playthrough. Do you think this thing knows Metronome? Sam. Well, Sam, Sam is determined to give it a chance to show us whether it has Metronome or not. Okay, what's the betting it uses Sweet Kiss again right here? Nope. Just another sing and it misses yet again. Perfect. Clean this up and we can be on our way. Oh yeah, Shucky, take in that Cleffa experience. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and declare that this is the next route. I don't care to check. I think it probably is. It seemed like the route started at the turn. But anyway, now we're gonna have to fight this guy first now. Another servant. This one with a coughing. Okay, we can handle that. May resist poison, and coughing is not very specially bulky. This one should be pretty easy, right, May? Just gotta land another surf. Seems pretty easy to me. Good job. Servant Kate. Alright, let's get an encounter. Do I still have the rappel on? It feels like it should be up by now. There we go. We'll get it over here. It's... Wow. It's an arcane. Interesting. And it knows Roar, so we failed the encounter. Never mind. Onward! <laughs> she's gonna give the battle everything she's got. There's Squirtle. And whatever her other Pokemon is. I'm gonna try Spike Cannon. Let's see if it does anything. That's a cool animation that I haven't seen very often. I think May might be able to take this. Yeah, I think May's got this. Can recover if need be. Look at that spike cannon go. It's a nice touch how it shows the impact in slightly different spots over the course of the animation. The spikes are all pointy, and they're, they're, there's like an impact to them, there's good sound effect. They did a solid job on a pretty obscure move there. We got more than three hits, this should finish it. Let's see. Ah, apparently May is allergic to more than three hits, but you know what? That's a free chance to recover. We take those two. And we'll do one last spike cannon to get rid of this thing. Goodbye. A Beedrill. That's a cool Pokemon. But it doesn't resist surf. It can poison with Twin Needle. That move can poison. And it does here. Uh, how do I want to handle that? Well, here's the thing, folks. Oh, okay, what I'm going to do is switch to Shucky. Part of me wants to switch to Sam and use Heal Bell, but not into a bug type attack. Don't worry. Shucky going to have poison too? No. 
Okay. Well, we can cook this speed drill. And figure out what to do about May's condition. The easiest thing is just a full heal. There's a house nearby where we can get our Pokemon healed. The only thing I don't like about that is that it'll also heal Sailor and Blastoise. And again, there's the risk that we get into a weird battle situation where they have to come out. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, Shucky's evolving. Let's deal with that first. Took us a couple of attempts, but we got a Typhlosion. Look at our girl there. That's gonna sh she's gonna strike fear into the hearts of the Elite Four. No doubt. Let's check out this house. I think we can heal here. But yeah, there's no PC. I am just gonna use a full heal. I kinda wanna heal the team anyway. I am just gonna do this. And... Oh, that... I don't accidentally cheat. Before I get a chance to release my guys. And if I do... You'll know I tried not to. Um, I'm also going to move the experience share to May, now that Shucky is evolved. Because May is kind of falling behind. Which is not necessarily the worst thing, because I have a stronger water type now. But still, I think four decent Pokemon is better than three decent Pokemon. Um, when we have some potentially tough battles ahead. Are you tough, by the way? Let's see. What have you got, Ghost Rider Jimmy? Another Squirtle. Man, trainers on some of these routes know what Pokemon they like, even if it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Now, May, how would you like to land more than three hits this time? Apparently you wouldn't like to. Well, I guess I know what I'm getting with you. Which is okay with me. Consistency is good. Even if it's not as good as as just raw, incredible luck. Three hits again. Spike Cannon can hit five times, right? I'm not wrong. Am I? I don't think so. It sure seems like a move that would hit two to five times. There's three again. It's consistent enough that I'm starting to wonder. In any case, won't even need three hits this time. Yep. Next. Yep, makes sense. Who else could it be? Would it be? Ah, Mew Colored Transformation. Pretty much just looks like a regular Corsola, but with some added bits of light blue. Kind of fun. Maybe I should have switched to Sam just to see what that would look like. But, this is fine. Guess I'll switch to... Sam, now. Instead of just trying to win this matchup. As we're on the receiving end of the surf for once. I hope this thing doesn't just recover a bunch. Of course, with Transform, it only gets 5 PP, so it's not the end of the world if it does spam recover. <laughs> Whirlpool? Funny. Use Spike Cannon next. You really should. Or we can just crit here. No. Hey! They went for Spike Cannon. We get to see that from the other side. Times again. I'm beginning to think that might be what it does. Even though, if that's the case... I've had the wrong idea about it for a long time now. So I'm not quite convinced yet. It's going to take a lot to convince me that I've had a misconception for like... 
20 years, I don't know. Anyway, let's clean up this Paris. And we should be good to move on. I'm just gonna switch to Shucky. I don't want to deal with this. I'm gonna switch to Shucky and go heal. We'll wake Sam up that way. Also, yeah, I mean, Sam... It's a Paris, so I wasn't exactly scared. But Sam is very weak to bug. I didn't forget that. Look at that Typhlosion go. Experience all over the place. Ghost Rider Jimmy was defeated. It seemed like he said something funny, but I wasn't paying attention. We'll just heal off the sleep. And I'm gonna need a Pokemon with strength. Oh, um, Sailor no strength, and I haven't released Sailor yet. Probably got like two or three more trainers before Victory Road. This guy's making his final preparations for the Pokemon League, so you know he's a serious contender. Let's see. Yep. Super serious. Okay, Drowsy is actually not the least scary Pokemon. Nothing Sam can't handle, I think. Ancient Power is probably a two-hit KO. Good. May levels up. And he has a mill tank in the back. At a high enough level to potentially be scary. Let's see. I don't... I think Miltank gets rollout naturally, does it? I think Whitney used a TM on hers. But I don't know, I've never used Miltank in a playthrough. Maybe I'm wrong. It is a very round Pokemon. Rollout makes a lot of sense on it. They don't get to find out, thanks to confusion, self-damage, crit. Love that. Definitely like that more than finding out. Finding out would have been a worse thing here. One more trainer. I lost a trainer named Martin, the rival. I felt sorry for his Pokemon, though. He's not good to them. Unlike me, with my... Flaffy. Our rival's taking down legendaries now, huh? Guess we'll Sam this. Oh no! We're gonna be slow now. What a shame. Oops, still faster. We dodge the Thunder Wave. This might KO. It'd be nice if it does. No. That's okay. Because I finally remembered I have Heal Bell. Of course, it could just Thunder Wave again. We might be slower after this Cotton Spore. But we'll see. It's Gen 2 AI. It doesn't have to make sense. Maybe we'll give up on Paralyzing. Let's see if we can shrug that off. Thundershock. Not gonna do any damage at all. Yep. Honestly, thought that might be a crit when I saw that damage. <laughs> but if he's gone, we can go to Victory Road. Let's do it. After we get that item that we passed a little bit ago. There's an item down here and I don't remember what it is. That actually might be good. That might be I might end up being glad that I got that. Alright, now we go to Victory Road. You're gonna let me ride my bike through this gate. 
Oh, the eight badges of Johto. So efficient. Can I go this way, please? Can I go this way, please? He's like, no, not allowed. We get a victory road encounter. Last encounter before the league. It's... Okay. Alright. Sure. Why not? You know what? Might even take this to the Elite Four. There are a couple of team slots up in the air right now. Let's see. I also have to decide whether I'm going to grind before the league. I don't want to because it's annoying, but maybe I do want to because I'm a little underleveled for the league. But I don't know what Pokemon they have. They might have like five Sunkern each, and then I'll feel pretty silly if I grind. My instinct right now is to not grind, but you can see the dilemma, right? I also think I'm gonna... No, I'm not gonna switch. We'll simply catch it now and be fine. Yep, what did I say? Called it. Maybe I'm the one who can see the future. It usually forages for food on the ground, but may, on rare occasions, hop onto branches to peck at shoots. And because I saw the future in this battle more effectively than it did, we're gonna rub that in a little bit and name this guy The Future. Now we can throw off a repel. If that does us any good with me in front of the party, we'll see. Yeah, my instinct is to not grind. It's gonna be pretty annoying if I lose the run to that, but I just don't wanna grind. I don't know. But that probably means I'm bringing a couple of Pokemon as basically just death fodder, right? Cause I only have really a four that I've trained. Uh, Spinarak. Well, I do like my not to encounter more than that. Okay, might want to switch somebody else to the front of the party. Wow, I could have got a Togepi. Not that I want one, but... I mean, Togepi's cute, it's just not very useful right now. But a level 35 Togepi, that would have been an interesting encounter. I'm gonna go ahead and swap my highest level Pokemon to the front of the party. That also might give me a nice edge against whatever the rival leads off with, which is fine with me. Um, should remember to get the Earthquake TM while we're here. Uh, who can learn Earthquake? Shucky probably can. Not sure I want that. Um. I might just save it for later, or Silver can probably learn it. Where does this go? Okay, that's good. Um, Ducky, Silver, May. I will consider teaching Earthquake to my Lapras. I think I lean against right now. Maybe I'll just hold on to that TM. Don't have to decide right now. Pretty soon. Anyway, revel time. Last battle before the league. Da -da 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 -da. I'm not like before. I'm stronger. Blah. Good thing we hard counter a Starmie now. That thing was such a nightmare for a while. It's got six Pokemon. And the first one is Parasect. I bet it's gonna use Spore. I'm just gonna try to knock it out with Ice Beam right now. KO or freeze, please. Perfect. Nice crit. No idea whether it mattered. Not especially confident that it did. Um, okay, we'll switch to Sam against this thing. There's no signal beam in this game. 
Not a, actually not a bad team so far. Got a grass type, an electric type, they're fully evolved. One of them is a reasonably strong Pokemon. Let's see what else he's got. Uh, I like him missing Thunder Wave, I'm all for that continuing. Two more confusions to knock it out, unless we get a crit right here. Don't. Self damage would be useful right now. Or we could dodge another Thunder Wave. Okay, cool. Let's see what's next. That's cool. That's a very cool Pokemon. I'll give Shucky a try. Honestly, I probably could knock it out with Ancient Power, but I'm just scared of like a random blizzard or something. I don't know what level it gets that. Just went for agility here, so Ancient Power might have been the play, but I think Shucky can probably take this. I mean, if he's still using Gust. We should be fine. Honestly, all four of my Pokémon match up well into Articuno. Unless it has Blizzard into Sam. Anyway, nice burn. The fact that it's still using Powder Snow. I mean, it's a Legendary, right? It doesn't get a ton of moves. It could have Powder Snow and Ice Beam or something. But we'll never know, because we got rid of it. But look at my rival. He really is stronger. He's putting in work. Next is... There's the Starmie! But we've got something for that. Honestly, Silver would also be strong into this now. Resist Bubble Beam, hit back with Slam. Er, Body Slam, rather. But, we can recover off Confusion Damage with Sam, which is also nice. And there's always the chance of an Omni Boost. We haven't had one of those in a while. And look at that Bubble Beam damage. That's... Not much at all. Okay. And that's all he's got. After all this time. It used to be such a nightmare to deal with, but... Many episodes later... He's still just using the same thing, and it's not... As scary as it used to be. I should have at least one chance to recover up. If this is a self-hit, then I'll probably use an item heal, but nope, not even confused anymore. HP right back up. Let's try to get that ancient power off now, shall we? Of course he goes for Confuse Ray again, that was obvious. This probably has Recover, which is annoying. This could be kind of a long battle. But not if the ancient power does a ton of damage and gives me an Omni Boost, am I right? Okay. Not right yet. <laughs> but there's still time. Power number two. There's the boost. Here's our last ancient power. If it recovers here, then we switch to confusion, I guess. But it just goes for bubble beam, which is pretty much the least threatening thing it could do, I think. A crit or a confusion. The status effect would be great here. We don't get either, so our opponent is going to be dragging us out a bit. We got lots of opportunities for. Oh, actually, not that many opportunities. We don't. <laughs> we're getting low on PP. But maybe we can pull something off here. Maybe we can get a crit right here. That would be nice. I think a crit KOs. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't recover, so if we break through the confusion here, we got it. Let's go, Sam. You can do it. You did it. Goodbye, Starmie. Feels so good, after how much it scared me in those early encounters. Here's a Vulpix. We're gonna switch Sam right on out of this and go to May. 
still, you know, he's still got a well-rounded team. We've seen grass, electric, ice, water, fire. That's really good. But I guess the Vulpix is lagging a little bit behind the teammates, huh? Admittedly, it is really hard to find a fire stone in this game, so I can understand, buddy. I believe you got one Pokemon left, right? And it's a Psyduck. I was tempted to go for Spike Cannon, but I'm just gonna go right back to Sam, I think. The Psyduck is a little underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. I think you can do better than that. Play it safe with Recover, and then we spam our own Confusion. I could grind my team to like level 40, Sam would get a new move, I could train a couple of other Pokemon up. I just keep running into the same problem that I don't want to. And so I can feel my heart hardening right now. I think I'm not going to do it. I think I'm just going to go right ahead into the league, for better or for worse. And hey, if we wipe, then I'll have to grind. So, that's how it's going to be, I think. Mr. Question Marks was defeated. I possess something that he lacks. I'm not really paying attention. Sorry, buddy. You're going to have to have your philosophical crisis on your own. Uh, doesn't seem like he's learned that much yet. But anyway, we've got other stuff to take care of. Heal the team. I was always so worried. I'm sure if you use this guy's teleport offer, it just like sends you back to New Bark Town. And you continue from there. For some reason, as a kid, I guess there's so much, such a finality to it. He's like, if you're not ready, I can send you home. Well, I picked, I interpreted that as having such a finality to it. But I was like, if I say yes, is my journey over? I can't say yes to this. Not that I ever was in a position where I'd want to. Anyway, this one's been a while coming. Sailor. What happened to you again? Well, you died, I remember that much. Goodbye. I'm sorry, there have been a lot of deaths. And this Blastoise can just hang out in the PC. Probably never need it again. We've got we to add two Pokemon to the team. The future is a strong contender. Calm isn't the worst idea, just because of the level. Hunter, I think, is a no. Scary. <laughs> Definitely not stubborn. Research is a fun Pokemon, but I don't see the vision. Whimsy. I kind of do see the vision for research, but anything that I bring in the 5th or 6th slot right now, I'm probably just going to sack if it comes to that. That's probably the only reason they're there. So that's a bad time. I think I should pick a relatively expendable Pokemon, actually. And in that case... There's a case for Emerald, just for, like, defensive switching. But at level 26 at this point in the game, that doesn't feel like a great case. If I'm going expendable, I actually think I should bring Stubborn and Indigo, right? So I think I'm going to do that. They're only here to be sacked if I need to sack something. These are the cynical choices that we make at the Pokemon League. Stubborn and Indigo, I'm not going to call you full members of the active roster. But you're here for now. And I do hope you survive, I do like you guys. But I will do what I have to do. Anyway. Um. Don't care about these. And I really don't care about this. What do I want to buy? I mean, healing. Do I want to buy max potions or full restores? Or a mix of both? Let's do 10 full restores, just in case we get into status hell. And the rest of the money that I can afford to spend on max potions. Which is that much. I think, I think we'll leave it at that. Alright, it's time. The Elite Four are obviously not going to have their type themes, but let's see if we can spot any themes for their teams, shall we? Let me know in the comments if you find one I missed. 
Silver, May, Sam, Shucky, Stubborn, Indigo. Maybe I'm being reckless, but here we go, it's time. Welcome to the Pokemon League, Silver. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful, and at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. I had so much trouble with Will's Slowbro in some of my childhood playthroughs. Or, not childhood playthroughs, I really only did the one. That's hilarious that they turned into schoolgirls. Schoolgirl Stacy. You got a Slowbro? That Slowbro was just so bulky, I always had trouble with it. Level 40, right off the bat. Yeah, I might regret not grinding. But that's it, I made my decision. And it's on the recording, so I'm accountable. I'm pretty sure Shucky can handle this Magnemite, at least. Yep. What's next? But if he says I like a Lugia... <laughs> well, actually, I do have something for Lugia. It's called Ice Beam, but you get the idea. Quillfish? I don't think I'm terribly worried about. I think Sam can handle a Quillfish. Did they have the same cry? I mean, not literally the same, but those sure sounded similar, didn't they? We get to hear Quillfish's cry again. When it faints. I feel like I should know the answer to that after playing this game a whole bunch. Please hurt yourself. I want you to hurt yourself. I'm very pro that. Didn't do it. The Elite Four are not interested in what I want, I guess. Um, okay, so we've seen Magnemite and Quillfish. Round Pokemon? Magnemite's sort of round. Gloom is pretty round. And it's weak to Psychic. Seeing Stun Spore is good. I'll move right on through this. You got two more round Pokemon, I'm gonna call that a theme. That Raichu sprite looks pretty round, no? I'm gonna recover, because I'm a little scared. This is Ace, I think. Level 42? That's a pretty chonky Raichu. I think this guy trains around Pokemon. He's a round-type specialist. That Thunderbolt actually did some damage. It's okay. I think. I mean, I think we can beat this guy. There are four more after. Who might not train... Might not have nice, whimsical-type themes, like, round. Oh, a max potion. Isn't that nice? We're a war of attrition here. Also, I am worried about running out of PP. Even though, I mean, I have items for that, and since it's the League, I'm not gonna use them without a second thought, if I think the situation is right. Even so, we've used so many confusions already. Because the Pokemon are just at higher levels than my Pokemon. Because I didn't grind. Cover again. It's doing a fair bit of damage, but so slowly that it's still not really a threat. And if he's sending in, like, Raichu and Gloom into my Celebi, whatever he has in the back is probably really weak to it. You know what? I forgot to check my TMs at the League, like I said I would do. Hmm. Guess I'll do that after this battle. Nice that we never got paralyzed by Thunderbolt. And Will's down to one. Last Pokemon. What could it be? A Golduck. 
Okay, I get why you don't send that out early into Celebi, but of course I don't have a grass attack to punish it. So we just gotta chip away with confusion here. The good news is if he's using confusion back, that obviously favors me. I'm using a lot of PP already though. Gonna take a couple more to knock this out, unless crit. But I've been saying a lot, unless crit a lot this episode, and it's not getting me crits. Crit? By the way, just notice that Golduck's head... No. Oh, it's crit, but it didn't KO. Bit of a monkey's paw there. Just notice that Golduck's head thing isn't red in this game because of the two color limit. I don't think I ever noticed that in my whole childhood. And I ran into a lot of wild Golduck over in Mount Silver. They're everywhere. Okay. That was probably about as easy as these get, and it still was a bit of a grind. So we'll see what's ahead. Let's check my TMs first, and see if I want to heal anyone. He said to move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. I'm scared. Okay. Dynamic punch. Icy wind. I have ice beam. Iron tail, dragon breath. Earthquake is just vaguely interesting. Shadow ball. Don't really have anyone to take it. Celebi can probably learn shadow ball. Yeah, but I don't know if I want. It would be good into other psychic types. I think I'm going to teach Shadow Ball to my Celebi. Um, Swift. I think I'm going to teach Shadow Ball to my Celebi. I don't think I should be conservative with TMs right now. And let's be honest, I've barely been using Heal Bell. Uh, if I get a grass attack in two levels and I have to figure out something to delete, then I'm going to feel a little silly. But I think this is worth it. If nothing else, it gives Celebi a clear advantage over opposing psychic types without relying on ancient power. And it's 5 PP. Otherwise, I think... I think I'm good as far as... Um... TMs go. I'm gonna move the experience here to Shucky. Shucky levels up more quickly than May, so it just seems net more beneficial right now. And on we go! Fight the next schoolgirl. Wahahahaha! I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in the shadows. A ninja, by intricate style, will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be victim of my sinister technique. Fwa ha ha ha! Pokemon is not merely about brute force, you should see soon enough. This guy's Crobat and Muck, especially the Muck, are very annoying. Will Slowbro, very annoying. Koga's Muck. Schoolgirl Rachel's Muck, very annoying. But let's see what we got here. An Ursaring, that's pretty strong, right off the bat. I could go May because May resists normal, but I think I'm just gonna throw off an Ice Beam and hope for the best. I don't know what kind of attack this is going to use. That Ice Beam did a lot of damage. That Slash... Didn't actually do all that much damage. I think we can probably finish it off with Surf here. What was Will's last Pokemon? Golduck? Not very round. But I'm, st I'm, I'm sticking to it. His theme is round Pokemon. Tell me if you spot a better one. Koga? We got Ursa Ring. Nido Reno. Ursaring and Nidorino. They're kind of violent animal guys. I don't know. Maybe something will make itself clear as we see more Pokemon. I'm gonna have to use an Ether on this Celebi pretty soon, huh? Confusion is just kind of weak for staple attack. This is gonna crit. The crit still didn't do very much though, so it's okay. Only hit three times, that seems to be a pattern tonight. I don't know how Spike Cannon works anymore, I've lost faith that I do. We beat the Nidorino. 
I guess the nice thing about a randomizer is the Elite Four... And this is actually another reason I didn't grind. The Elite Four are kind of likely to be made weaker by it instead of stronger. Now that's a scary animal guy, for sure. And a good test case for my Shadow Ball decision. Look at that damage. That Reflect is not going to save you. Also, big fan of the Shadow Ball animation in this game, but I feel like that goes without saying. Shadow Ball's always cool. I like that little fast one compared to what we see in some later gens. Weepin' Bell is pretty soft target. We had a Gloom and we had a Weepin' Bell. Um... Theme is dangerous, angry boys. They got like teeth and spikes and claws. And then there's Mr. Mime. That's what Koga's about, I think. We still haven't seen his ace. I actually did a fair bit of damage. We still haven't seen his ace, but we will in a moment. It's. Well, I think that confirms the theme. <laughs> Will trained round Pokemon. Koga trains sharp, pointy, angry boys. I was afraid of a drill peck. That's why I did that just now. But Thundershock is just fine with me. And the Reflect goes down just in time for Ancient Power. To hopefully do a ton of damage. That crit thundershock actually did a decent amount. I'm still scared that this thing might have drill pack, but it's not like there's anyone I want to switch in on it, right? We've seen thundershock and thunder wave. And now detect, which is actually pretty annoying when I'm using, you know, ancient power. 5 PP. You know how it is. Fully paralyzed again. Detect on the Ancient Power. Getting close to using another full restore, I think. Still haven't seen this thing's fourth move, if it has one. I don't even know if it does. Legendaries are weird. We finally land another Ancient Power. One more should knock it out. We'll try to recover first. Let's go for that last <clears throat> Ancient Power and then use an Elixir on Sam between battles. Is what it is. Be Coca! Two trainers down, three to go. Okay, proven my worth. I'll say. We got a round team and a pointy scary team. Anything could be coming up next. I'm gonna go ahead and use another full restore on Sam. Does anyone else need healing? I'll give Silver some healing. I think that's reasonable. I have some super potions left from earlier in the run, right? Oh yeah, lots of super potions. Look at that. Need one. I'll use my one elixir on Sam right now. Why not? And it's Bruno time. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to the extreme because I believe in our potential. That is how we became strong. Can you withstand our power? Hmm? I see no fear in you. You look determined, perfect for battle. Ready, Silver? You will bow down to our overwhelming power. <laughs> Schoolgirl Anne wants to battle. Leading right off of the Golem. Actually pretty Bruno appropriate, but also just gets absolutely devoured whole by Silver. That's the kind of matchup I want to see right now, you know? So 
that's Golem. Next is... Okay, sure, a Chansey. Picking up on a lot of round Pokémon again, but they wouldn't repeat a theme, would they? Oh boy. Alright, Silver, land this next Body Slam and we're golden. Could have also done Parish Song stuff, I guess, if it came to that. Got rid of the Chansey. Silver's first level up. Kingler. Mono Gen 1 so far. And also the round. I think I can just surf this. It's not very especially bulky. Alright, I'm not really eager to switch to Sam here. I can if it comes to that. Yeah, two more surfs. Oh my god, what? That was our Lugia encounter. And our strongest, well, highest level Pokemon. And we only have four good Pokemon here. Gonna go to Sam, because what else can I do? But I am so scared right now. What in the world? He's KO. Oh my god. I am truly down to just a fire water grass core now. A fire water grass core and a dream. And here's a Charizard. May, this is all you. <laughs> okay, nobody can blame me for what happened to Silver, right? But, oh my god, that might be the worst death yet. Clean up this Charizard. I guess I'll put the experience share back on May, because I'm counting on May to be my water type now. I've got a fire, water, grass core, and a dream. Okay. We'll get rid of the Charizard. I don't think we've seen his ace yet. I shudder to think. Kangaskhan. <sighs> Mono Gen 1 confirmed, by the way. I guess that's his theme. My brain is too scrambled to try to come up with something better. Big burst damage. At least on these last three Pokemon. I'm gonna set up a Whirlpool for the passive damage, because Surf was chipping it pretty slowly. He's gonna have a max potion or something, right? At least the Mega Punches are missing so far. That one hit. Doesn't do much damage. But I'm gonna go for a cover next. It'll be a little bit of a slog against this Kangaskhan. Lance's ace is at level 55. What am I going to do if it's actually good? We'll see. I'm gonna go for another recover. Try to get nice and healthy. There's the max potion. Great. Love that. Honestly, if it's gonna be a slog anyway, should I just be... Setting up the Whirlpool and then spamming Spike Cannon? I don't know. It has Rage. Why does it have Rage? What do I do? Wait for it to use something other than Rage again? Is that how that move works? Alright. 
I'll just go for another recover to stall a turn. Now an attack won't build its rage again, right? Unless it uses rage now. Right? Please, May, just get the mother of all crits. Get a crit that does like eight times damage. That's what we need right now. So far, no good. Come on, May. Octo crit, let's go. Quad crit, I guess. That's what I'm advocating for. No, I'll take 16 times damage. Octo crit. Cool. And then I think another Surf will finish it off. Honestly, Spike Cannon might be worth it now to save PP. I don't know. No, that's dumb. Well, it's not dumb, but I can't be bothered. Whirlpool finish it off. Good job, May. Three trainers down, two to go. And I'm gonna swap the experience share onto May, because May falling behind is a bigger deal than it was before this very battle. Having lost, I have no right to say anything. Please don't say anything. I there is nothing I want to hear from you. I'm gonna swap Shucky to the lead spot. And Silver can go all the way down here so that it's a position of defeat when we get to the Hall of Fame. That's right. When we get to the Hall of Fame. Stay tuned. I'm gonna lead Shucky against Karen. I almost forgot to move the experience share. Still gonna do that. Because May is kind of a vital part of the team at this point. Took a bit of a backseat while Silver was with us, but hey, that wasn't very long, was it? Alright, Karen. I shudder to think. I know you don't have your Vile Plume, or your Umbreon, or your Houndoom, so you're probably net weaker. But you might not be. Your Silver? How amusing. I love Dark-type Pokémon. I find their wild, tough image to be so appealing, and they're so strong. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. Okay. Schoolgirl Alex wants to battle. <laughs> the bane of my existence. Let's just cook it with Flame Wheel, please. By the way, wild, tough image, am I right? Nothing says that like Deli Bird. Watch my Christmas video if you doubt. Okay. Teddy Ursa. Could be a cute Pokemon theme, could be a mono, could be mono Gen 2. And if she's setting in Teddy Ursa, that makes me somewhat hopeful about the rest of her team. Right? That could do big damage. Okay, it didn't. If she's sending in Teddy Ursa, maybe she has a weak team. Fingers crossed. Okay. Shucky is now our highest level team member. Why is there a Golduck? That's not cute or Gen 2. Maybe Karen's just a wild card. Kind of fits her personality, I guess. Everything is hitting three times. I don't know what I'd make of that. Maybe I shouldn't make anything of it. Chance is like that, right? Also, no, this isn't her ace. Her ace is at a heart. Okay, I'm a little worried about the Screech and the Fury Swipes, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little scared here. Anyway, her ace will be at a higher level than this. Okay, that's still not doing much damage. 
If there's another scree- if- if Sam takes another screech, then I think I switch to May. So far we're good. That's hitting more than four times, and they've got a crit. That's hitting five times! Should be safe to use recover, though. I'm just gonna go right for another recover, because I'm scared, I guess. It's probably inefficient. Or a little wasteful, I mean, but... Ever since that guillotine, this game's been kind of in my head. I think that's obvious. Yeah, that was a really wasteful recover. It's okay, though. We'll finish the gold duck off, and then we'll see what we're dealing with from there. Would have been nice if Fury Swipes had ever missed. Maybe it did, and I forgot. I don't know. But actually, okay, two hits. Fine, fair and balanced. Still at 80, a nice 80 HP. Golduck is gone. Still reasonably hopeful that the rest of her team is weak. Switch out of this Venomoth, because we're at minus two defense and double weak to bug. But Shucky should be able to pick it up. By the way, Karen has a Venomoth in the base game. She managed to hold on to it. Does she have a Venomoth? No. Koga has a Venomoth, never mind. Karen has... Umbreon, Murkrow, Vileplume, Gengar, Houndoom. Venomoth just really suits her, that's why I got confused. It's a Pokemon that she could easily have. So look at that, Karen's still trying to win with her favorites, even in a randomizer. She just can't be stopped. I respect it. People are so weird about the Karen quote these days. Like on both sides, if you will. Like, some people practically make it their Pokemon motto. Must always try to win with my favorites, no matter what. What is a metagame? And then some people overreact to that. I've only seen this one more recently, and they're like, Karen was wrong. She was an idiot. Karen re Karen's speech represents a perfectly legitimate and fine way of playing the game. It's not the be-all and end-all, and it's also not dumb and wrong. It's just I mean, it's Pokemon. There's so many good ways that you can play. Not many wrong ones. Karen represents one of many views. Anyway. I don't think there's a move I want to get rid of for Miracoat. And I think we haven't seen her ace yet. It's... Another Raichu. Cute. Probably switch in on it. Right? Probably take a Thunderbolt. The Celebi. Yeah, easy. I am a little bit spooked, so I'm gonna use a Max Potion instead of going for a cover. Just to guarantee that I get my action off first. But this is probably just going to spam Thunderbolt, because it's a stone involved Pokemon. They don't get very many moves. We know that already. It has Tail Whip. Hope it doesn't have a strong physical attack to pair with that. Honestly? Maybe I consider sacking something. If our defense gets too low. Just to be safe. It has Quick Attack. That's still not doing much. But two more Tail Whips, let's say, and I think I... Attack someone. I don't think I want to risk switching Shucky in on this. I did bring a couple of Death Fodder Pokemon. I did say that I hoped I wouldn't have to use them as Death Fodder, but I would if it came to it. And that's still my position now. I hope I won't have to, but I'm willing. Hurting yourself is good. This confusion will KO and we won't have to sack anything in this battle. And that's Karen defeated. Okay, the guillotine has been in my head rent-free ever since it happened, but this has actually gone very well otherwise. Fingers crossed for Lance, huh? Knock on wood. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. I was just... I already talked about this speech. You know how it goes. It's fine. Nobody has to be polarized about it. Kind of silly to be polarized about it. Let's heal up. I 
we'll take that extra 10 points. And I'll use an ether on Sam's Confusion. Because that's getting low again. Alright, time for Lance. And what a reveal this was when I was a kid. I said it before. Um, I played Gen 2 before I played Gen 1. So I first knew Lance as the action hero in Mahogany Town. Finding out that he was associated with the League. Very cool. I've been waiting for you. Silver! I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer, as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. I can't wait to see what kind of dragons he has. Let's go. Director Christine sent out Hound Hour. Okay. May should be able to handle this. Right. It knows Crunch. I mean, I shouldn't have shocked. We probably take another Crunch. I sure hope so. I probably just lose to this if we don't. <sighs> Would be nice if Surf one shots. I crunched it a lot of damage. Okay, good. One Pokemon down, five to go. And next is Tentacruel. Just gonna go right ahead and switch to Sam. I considered using an item to heal May, but if it goes for wrap, we can't switch out. So we'll do this. Sam is weak to poison, but I don't think a Tentacruel is going to have a strong poison attack. There's the wrap. I actually wasn't sure it would have that at such a high level, but it does. You know what I should do? I should probably heal May before I knock this out. I think that's a good idea. So, I have, a hype, I have Hyper Potions. They will do more than enough. Probably should have just bought those instead of Max Potions, huh? But I didn't think about it. Honestly, in a normal playthrough, I just buy full restores. Don't worry too much about the number of them. So, Focusing on max potions instead was already kind of an adjustment for me. Back to knocking this thing out. Looks like it sh should go pretty smoothly. That bubble beam crit still didn't do a whole lot of damage. Don't love being slower than it. We can go for recover here. It knows Screech. Sure, why not? Well, it's still not going to make Rap do too much, right? Let's go! The bubble beam doesn't benefit at all from this Scrooge. Now you just look silly, Lance. Okay, one more. Once he heals. People seem to only heal their aces in this game, and even then inconsistently. Maybe a Shadow Ball would have been good there just for PP conservation, but I don't. Two Pokemon down, four to go. Next is Growlithe. Good thing I healed May. Growlithe only gets Bite, I think, not Crunch, and it doesn't have Stab, and it probably has a lower special attack set than Hound Hour, so I am considerably less worried about what this can do to me. By the way, that makes uh, two Fire-type Doggos on Lance's team. And a Tentacruel. So maybe his theme is dogs. I kind of hope not. I don't want to have to fight a Hound Doom. That Hound Hour was scary enough. Alright. Halfway there. Next is... Graveler. Well, that's a good sign. Goodbye.
Two Pokemon left. Um, this Parasect. Oh, it's level 50 if that's his ace, right? Level, not level 55. So this is his ace. And Chucky should be able to just cook it. I'm not messing around here. We're gonna use an item to wake Chucky up. I... I do have an awakening. This could do a lot of damage. It didn't, but perhaps it could have. A crit would've. It has a high crit rate. But this should one-shot, and then he has one Pokemon left. One Pokemon left. The only thing still standing between us and the championship is... A Butterfree. Isn't that nice? What a pleasant Pokemon. I like Butterfree a lot, but it's also not exactly striking fear into my heart right now. Should tank this Psybeam nicely. Look at those colors going wild on Butterfree during the Psybeam animation, and... Let's break through confusion and knock it out with Flame Wheel, shall we, Shucky? Getting the last KO of the league with Typhlosion, like... Half the kids who played this game all of those years ago. We did it. Director Christine was defeated. It's over. But it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a great new champion. Got a bunch of money for my mom to spend. We beat the league. And... I think I called correctly the randomizer would nerf them. It really wasn't that scary, other than the one obvious thing that happened in that one battle in the middle. It was somewhat regrettable. There was a Pokemon that I really liked that is no longer with us. But that was the only death here in the league. The two Pokemon I brought as pure death fodder are alive and well. And so are three quarters of the actual core of the team. Gonna have have to see what I want to use next episode, but that's a question for then. Anyway, Hall of Fame time. No need for a long speech, Lance. Perseverance, determination... Here we are. The Death Fodder mods get into the Hall of Fame, so that's fun. We got Shucky the Typhlosion. May the Corsola. Sam the Celebi. Stubborn the Smeargle. Indigo the Unknown. And that's everyone. I don't know why it's showing... It just showed some weird images and noises, but no, there were only five Pokémon. How's that for a team check, folks? We made it to the Hall of Fame. 20 hours, 20 minutes. Doesn't feel like it. Professor Oak wants me to fill up the Pokédex. Well, you know what? You should read up on the Nuzlocke challenge, Professor Oak. Anyway, there it is! That's the run. Um, I guess unless there happens to be an interesting post-game where we fight a whole new set of gym leaders or something, unless something crazy like that comes up, that might be the whole playthrough. But I'll have to look into what kind of post-game Pokemon Silver has, if any. And see you next week, if there's more to be done. But for now, no need to sit through all this. Smell you later.